Hi all, this is Lynn with Paper Life and today I'm kind of messing around in my start of January junk journal. This was when I put down for the junking up, junking it up challenge. The 11th was step in a puddle and splash a friend day. Well a lot of people were like, well we got snow, so do I. But I kind of played around with this background. It's these two paints. There's a lot of tutorials out there, but you just really water it down. And then I used alcohol ink, kind of dropping it on there. Oh, I'm sorry, I used the acrylic white for a background. Then I had this paint, which is a color shift. And I put it over the top, kind of gave it a, I don't know, pearlescent on there. And then I used a paper towel just to kind of dab up the extra. But, as you can tell, I was extremely messy with that. I was talking to a friend because week one is try something new. We always comment on how we like to use fabric, but... I know I tend to do a lot of sewing with my fabric and I don't trust just glue down. If you're working with a thicker fabric, you can use something like a fabric tack and it won't seep through or you have less of a chance of it. It's kind of weird. Um, it's, I don't know, definitely a learning curve. But here was something I wanted to show you, and this was a, my husband laughed at me when I found this because I should have realized it a long time ago. I just wasn't in that right mindset. But what I like to do is, I'm just going to use this, this is just a really big index card that I folded in half. I'm going to use just the Elmer's purple glue. Now I want to make sure I get a really good coat all the way around. But yeah, so I told my friend because, you know, her sewing machine is not behaving and I've been there, done that, that she wanted to do more with fabric but didn't want to have to sew it. So I told her, I was like, well, that's your challenge for the month. You now have to do something. But then I started playing with it. Pause for just a second, guys. Okay, I'm really sorry about that, guys. I got an important phone call that I had to stop to take. But so I have just a really old um, clothes iron. I think I got it from a Goodwill or something like that. And I use this one just for my crafts. But once my glue stick is on there really heavily, you know, I just want to make sure it's a real good coat. I want to use my iron. To dry my glue stick. And what that does is it gives it a much better seal. So now that I have that, the one thing was I didn't trust it just on its own. I'm weird. I I don't know if it will stay over time. I just don't trust it. I don't want to make something and have it fall apart you know have the fabric come off of the paper so I'm just going to use my scissors and cut my fabric off and let me get my book out of the way So I don't even know if you can see through this, but this is just a thin piece of cotton fabric. Now the thing I like about the glue stick is I don't feel a glue residue through my fabric. Now what I don't love is it's not a permanent hold. So I went through and I played some. Here is, I used the same type of paint like this, but it was kind of a metallic copperish looking one and put it around the edge 
Here's a yellow. This is kind of a glittery. Um, I use this, but it's very close, in my opinion at least, to a glass, glossy accent. But it's just an adhesive. Here's kind of the one that we're going to do here in a moment. I just like this. I kind of took my finger. As you can tell, I was doing finger painting. And just kind of played with it like I would distressed ink around the edges. So let's get into doing this one. I'm going to grab my blue that I used for my background. Oh, probably way more than what I needed. Finger paint time. And I just want to make sure I go all the way to the edge because that's the part that I'm concerned with. The glue stick does a good job holding the fabric down in the middle. But I feel like my weak point is going to be the edges. That's where my fabric's going to want to come up from. So I thought if I put a little paint, you can do it. I did one, but then I covered it up with just some glue. Just same thing, just right around the edges. But I kind of liked the way that the paint looked. Kind of distressing. Or adding some interest. So this is just, like I said, I was teasing my friend and I told her that she needed to do something new with fabric. And I took my own advice. I decided to play around with it myself. And I'm not really stressed about it being perfect. But that's what I did and what it's going to end up being when it's still wet but I'm gonna put it right here and make it like a tuck in spot. Look like it probably needs some type of decoration on it, but I'll do all that, maybe. I might not even do that. This may not even make it any farther than what I'm doing at the current moment while I'm playing with it. One of our friends, I think it was, it was either Merrily or it was Debbie hand sanitizer for cleaning your hands from paint and stuff like that. I mean, it's not great, but you know, you definitely still want to probably run it through some water and soap, but it's really good for just a quick, quick cleanup. Now, let's see, where was it? Can you see? I got little, oh, come on, come into focus. I got little strings that are just sticking out a little bit. And that's just because when I went across it with my finger, the fabric frayed just a little. So all I do is go back through and clip it just a little, just a little. So there is how you can use fabric in your journals without having a sewing machine or without getting the sewing machine out. I think what I'll do is take some of the pearlescent and go around the edge with that. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Just kind of messing around. I don't know if this helps because I realize most of us aren't in a weather to be able to go splash in the water or splash in puddles. But that's why I like incorporating those silly holidays. It's just so it gives us something to play with, an idea to go with. So there's what I did, to, what I'm doing today. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.